What's up, TF reviewers? I am Moose for the win, and we are back with another Transformers review. Today, we are looking at the Transformers Legacy Core Class Dinobots. Each one of these has been sold separately, so it took me a little bit of time to collect them all for you, but we are going to look at all of them together. I'm going to go through a quick transformation of each one individually, and then we're going to show you the combined mode for Volcanicus. Starting off with my boy Grimlock. Articulations, very simple, you just ball and socket joints on the legs, that's about it. They did have to make a few cuts with posability and articulation for a lot of these for the sake of transformation, but that's forgivable. Um, anything above a Happy Meal toy is a plus for me. So we're gonna start off, take this little gun off of here, move the legs down, separate them, rotate the wrists, spread the wings out, flip the whole back assembly down, take this peg down, you got a little Grimlock. He's got knee articulation, very big chunky legs, no elbow joints. So that's forgivable. Take this awkward little gun thing. If I could work my own dang hands. There you go. And Grimlock. This mega price scanner of doom. Next we have good old slug, slag, whatever you're allowed to call him. Remove this chunk off of here. A lot of these guys, their tails become the guns. Same thing with Grimlock. You just boop the legs up and around. Help me kind of get this one out of the way. Now the legs, I usually put these over here as kickstands. This little ratchet joints on the arms here. And then, boop, there he is. A little bit of head articulation, no elbow joints again, a little bit of knee articulation, and then another strange tail gun price scanner of doom. Very appropriate. And then we have a new guy. Here we have Scar. He was in the IDW comics as the Dinobots medic. Back before they were even Dinobots, they were just the Lightning Strike Coalition. So he never really got a Dinobot mode. He just, unfortunately, passed away before the war made it to Earth. But it's nice to see a little bit of representation. Price Scanner Gun of Doom. I would love if Hasbro made a leader class size Scar that would match with the Studio Series leaders. That would just make my day. Um, arguably the best one for individuals would have to be Snarl here. Sword hides away really well. He's got the most articulation, a little bit of parts forming. You gotta take this whole back panel off. But then just like any other Snarl, you gotta separate the legs. And then halfway through, hide the dino head away. Undo the arms. Separate the tail. Swivel the head around. Put the kibble back on. If I can figure out the right way to do so. Just like that. Yeah, I did it. And then his famous sword. Arguably the best one here. He's got the most articulation. He's got elbows. He's got... Does he have wrist? No, he does not have wrist. But he has the most posability for individual dino mode. Very fun single figure. Not that all of them aren't fun, just Snarl. For some reason has the most to offer. Um, with respect, poor Sludge. He's got no articulation at all in dino mode. His legs are completely sealed to him because in Volcanicus mode he carries most of the weight structurally. So we can forgive the lack of detail there. He's got no weapon, he's got no articulation except for just elbow joints in the armpits. That's it. It looks like he's got these big awkward saddlebags, but with how much he contributes to bot mode, we can forgive him. Ah, no, no! Sorry. 
Misa clumsy. And last but definitely not least, we have good old Swoop. Take the guns off. Disconnect the arms. Move the legs down. Head down. Pull the wings back. Somewhere. And Swoop has a lot of articulation as well. It's got ball and socket joints in the elbows, knee joints. And then his guns can either be dual wheeled pistols or combine into one big gun. So I say Swoop and Snarl are equally cool as far as individual robot modes. So there they all are, your standard core class size Dinobots. They look fantastic together. But let's get to what you all came to see is robot mode. So you're gonna take Swoop's guns, have them combine, that's gonna be a fist. We're gonna move, we're gonna transform Swoop mostly to dino mode. We're gonna combine the legs, swoop them around, <laughs> pun intended. Put the arms in and bring this connection piece out a little bit. Move the wings back for aesthetic. And then take the guns and peg them in right here. And we have arm number one. And then who's next? We'll go with Scar. Same thing, basically just turn him halfway back into dino mode. Legs, we're gonna swoop around and peg into here. And then we have the connection already out, luckily, yay! And then the tail gun hand hammer pegs in right there. And then we have Arm number two. Then Snarl with his good old parts forming. Turn his head around. The tail. Bringing this connector up. Gonna connect him here, leaving his dino heads intact. And then we're gonna take these pegs and put them into these holes here. We're gonna move the arms, connect them here. Then we're gonna take the back panel, put these here. And then the sword we can just store right here. And there is leg number one. Now this is the part that threw me off at first because normally in Volcanicus, Grimlock would be the head slash torso. Well, not today. He is gonna actually be the other leg. And that is because this mold is getting repurposed for Dino King. If anyone watched one of the Japanese series. So we're gonna take the whole head assembly and just cover it like this. Move the legs up like that. But yeah, this mode will definitely make for a better Dino King than a Volcanicus, but I still love that Volcanicus exists. Now, with this one, this is gonna be a little awkward. There's a little tab right here. We're gonna flip this one panel here, put this, rest it in there. But this panel, you're just gonna leave like that. And then you're gonna take this whole gun, flip it upside down. There's an ankle support. And there's the other foot. It's very asymmetrical, it looks a little awkward, but we'll get to that. Now, Sludge is almost done. We just gotta move his arms up, and we're gonna rotate the legs around and up and lock them into place here. I'm gonna set him to the side, and we're gonna take Slug, Slag, Tricera boy, Move the head up, bring these up. We're gonna rotate this whole arm over and peg it into the body. That's where those pegs are sitting out. Connect the legs. Bring them up and over. Come on, work with me here. There we go. Probably put these in after you flip these legs up. And then these legs kind of either just sit out or I like to flip them over here. It's really a preference. 
Now you take his gun, you pull this thing out. This will be the head. And I form the head. And then you take this other chunk and you're going to peg this into Sludge's torso like that. So you're gonna take these three connection ports and peg them into these three pegs like that. Everything kind of sets there nicely. And then the arms peg into these arms. And that becomes a very, very sturdy torso connection. And then from there you have your, what is it, 55 millimeter ports. Same thing as most of the guns and the weaponizers and the fossilizers. You can do a lot of customization with this guy. You can put fossilizer arms on him, You're making a Junkion combiner. You can add him to it. Possibilities are endless. And here you have Core Class Volcanicus. The awkward, chunky, asymmetrical beauty that he is. I love this. I, even though the articulation is very simple and sometimes lacking, I don't like inward elbows with you know fixed wrists, but what are you gonna do? Um, you know, head is just on a peg. Torso swivel, knee joints are dependent on Grimlock and Snarl, and there's no feet. Uh, they actually add feet to the um, Dino King, you can see where they're gonna peg in, but with Volcanicus it's just as is. But I love him so much. This is everything that I love in a Transformers toy. It's my favorite characters, my favorite gimmick and it's a fun collectible size. It is just so much for me and I love it. Um, size comparison, here's the completed version next to Earthrise Optimus. So he's, a, he's about Voyager size. And then compared to other Scout class, Deluxe class and all that, he would stand pretty tall. I cannot recommend this thing enough. It is so cute. And it is just perfect. All right, and that is Core Class Volcanicus.